Bruised and battered by boycott calls, Bollywood seems to have finally found its voice. And leading the charge are its top stars, known for always being politically correct. Amitabh Bachchan took a stand for free speech at the Kolkata International Film Festival. Big B said that even now questions are being raised about civil liberties and freedom of expression. Questions are being raised on civil liberties and freedom of expression. Since those early times, there have been many changes in cinema content. Art house cinema, the advent of the angry young man of the 70s and 80s, viewed against the frustration of countless unemployed youth to the current brand of historicals couched in fictionalized jingoism, along with moral policing, the range has kept audiences reflecting on the politics and social concerns of our times through single screens, videos, multiplexes, and now the burgeoning OTG. The collective narrative of our times is shaped by social media. And contrary to the belief that the spread of social media will affect cinema negatively, I believe cinema has an even more important role to play now. And to tell you this, बिल्कुल भी आपत्ति नहीं है कि दुनिया कुछ भी कर ले मैं और आप लोग और जितने भी पॉजिटिव लोग हैं सब के सब जिंदा हैं द स्पिरिट ऑफ इंडिया हैज ऑलवेज प्रोक्लेम द आइडिया ऑफ यूनिटी द आइडियल ऑफ यूनिटी नेवर रिजेक्ट्स एनीथिंग एनी रेस और एनी कल्चर इट कॉम्प्रिहेंड्स ऑल टू कॉम्प्रिहेंड ऑल थिंग्स एज दे आर एंड नॉट टू की आउट एनी in the whole universe to comprehend all things with sympathy and love this is the spirit of india besharam politics over shahrukh khan's upcoming film pathan continues several fringe groups have hit the streets their objection deepika padukone's saffron bikini in a song from the film pathan Politicians too have jumped into the fray. The Maharashtra BJP has threatened a ban on the release of the film. At the back of all of this, Shah Rukh Khan spoke out against the hate films have been getting. Ochi publicity batorna kya sajish ke tehet yeh bhi ek shadiyantra hai. Maharashtra vartaman mein Hindutva ki vichar dhara wali sarkar hai. महाराष्ट्र के भूमि पर हिंदुत्व का अपमान करने वाली कोई भी फिल्म या सीरियल हम कभी भी चलने नहीं देंगे गाने में प्रयुक्त की गई वेशभूषा प्रथम दृष्टिया बेहद आपत्तिजनक है साफ दिख रहा है कि दूषित मानसिकता के कारण ये फिल्माया गया गाना है वैसे भी दीपिका पादुकोण जी टुकड़े टुकड़े गैंग की समर्थक रही हैं जेएनयू वाले उसमें और इसलिए मैं ये निवेदन करूंगा कि इसके दृश्यों को ठीक करें वेशभूषा को ठीक करें अन्यथा मध्य प्रदेश में इस फिल्म को अनुमति दी जाए या न दी जाए ये विचारणीय प्रश्न होगा वेरी क्लियर अबाउट दिस यू वो टू अटेम्पल गो टू अटेम्पल यू वो वॉच अ फिल्म Go watch a film. You don't want to go watch a film. Don't go watch the film. Why are so many people on the right so hassled about the color of Deepika Padukone's bikini? And do they really have the right to try and stop others from watching the film? One is you have an objection, which is fine. You're more than welcome to it. The other is to try and force your objection on others. Try to get Deepika to change the color of her clothes or try and get others to boycott the film. That is what. Bollywood finally seems to be speaking up against. Joining me on the news track, Shri Raj Nair from the Vishwa Hindu Parishad. We've got Mukesh Tyagi, actor, member of the Bharatiya Janata Party. We've got Dilip Tahil, international actor, singer. Advaita Kala joins us, uh, author, Bollywood screenwriter. Akashdeep Sabir joins us, director and producer. Let me go across to Shri Raj Nair from the Vishwa Hindu Parishad first. All we've seen so far is a trailer from uh, Shah Rukh Khan and Deepika Padukone's upcoming film. 
Deepika is wearing a saffron colored bikini and you seem to be hassled. Now, can you explain what your objections are? Because we've seen the Madhya Pradesh Home Minister say boycott the film, object to it, this is not okay, Deepika Padukone is a member of the Tukre Tukre gang, she isn't. She went to register her support for a, pro for a protest movement which she is entitled to. But it seems that the right or the extreme right or the loony right has made up its mind that they have to find a way of creating trouble for the film of wanting to boycott Shah Rukh Khan and Deepika Padukone. What exactly are you hassled by Shiraj? Well, Rahul, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for uh, bringing me on the show. And uh, let me clarify, VHP, Vishwanthu Parishas, was formed here in Mumbai in the year of 1964. That means we're going to complete 60 years in 2024. In 60 years, we never interfered in the creative freedom of the film industry. We never, none of our boys of Bajrangal, Bajan, or Iset, we never created any records. Neither we interfered in any films you might have, you, you, you might have seen. And nobody can say that we interfered in filmmaking or we have created any kind of problem for the filmmakers. We respect because it is it is an industry which generates employment for thousands and thousands of people. We respect that. But at the same time, under the guise of freedom of expression, it cannot be only Hindu bashing which is happening, which is ha which is seen happening for a couple of years. And, uh, filmmaking films were always clean. There were great, great filmmakers like Blabu Khan, K. R. T. Rishikesh Mukherjee, Satyajit Ray, Satyajit Ray, and so on. And a uh, n number of filmmakers who made clean films and people love films. And I am myself a film film buff. I love to see the films. But off late, you are seeing no, that. Once you know, again, can I just hold you to ask what specifically have you seen so far? which seems to you to be anti-Hindu because in the images that are playing on my screen right now some of our clothes are purple, some are golden, some have a saffron hue. What is it that you've seen which is anti-Hindu? I'm not quite getting that piece. No, yeah, it is not only anti-Hindu is one aspect as there are many people who are saying no, but what is? No, no, once again, let me press you. So, once again, Aray, sir, ye to batao na, anti-Hindu kya hai? What is anti-Hindu? What are you asked about? Definitely, Vikini with saffron color has definitely has many sentiments, many people's sentiments. Moreover, you know, it is as well as watching a song, you see the song, how it is picturized. So, it has hurt many people and they are objecting. And under the constitution, they have the right to protest. Not, I will give you one example. I was hearing Mr. Bachchan's speech. We have great, he's a great icon. Now, in the year 2017, a film was made by the, the great filmmaker Madhur Bhandarkar in the Sarkar on the backdrop of emergencies. He, he had to seek police protection and his film was not allowed to release. And he had to seek police protection and where was his guy? So this is selectively that uh, they are targeting, they are supporting Patar. And uh, you recently saw in the Goa film, uh, film Festival, a uh, great filmmaker, the way he ridiculed Mark Vivek Agniotri for making Kashmir files. Now, where, where were these people then? So, which people are you talking about? One second. Any person is entitled to his view. You know, you don't like how Deepika Padukone looks. I mean, I think she looks quite nice, actually. Uh, but you don't think how she looks nice? That's fine. That's your view. I mean, you might like somebody else. That's fantastic. But you can't stop others from watching the film if they'd like to. That's the point that I'm making. You can't force your view on me. You can't force your view on others. If I wish to watch Pathan, surely I have the right to decide whether I wish to watch it or not. You can't say I am upset. If you are upset, sit at home. Rahul, did, did you did you see me issuing a statement that we have appealed people to work out? We have it. I am saying people who are objecting, they have all the right to protest. No, sure. They have their own the protest isn't and a problem. Protest. But when the Madhya Pradesh Home Minister Mukesh Tyagi jumps into the action, says that she should cover herself up, uh, that this is objectionable, the color of her clothes she doesn't like. Now, saffron isn't just identified with uh, a particular party. Saffron is a color as is green, blue, pink, purple, any other color. And surely an actor or an actress is allowed to wear it. Why is your Madhya Pradesh Home Minister and some other members of the party upset with this? Rahul, uh, if you give me two minutes, I'll tell you exactly. Okay. You see, the point is not uh, whether what color, it is art director's liberty, and I certainly am averse to any intervention into the cin cinematic liberties. I am a film actor myself. But the point is, I've been observing that there has been 
a constant Hindu bashing in all the films. I don't want to name you. You know all the names of the films. How the Hindi Hindu bashing has been done No, but what have you seen so far? It's the same question I'm asking Mukesh Bhai. What have you seen which looks like Hindu bashing? No, no. I've only seen yeah. the trailer of a song. The makers of Patan have put out nothing else, so you can't know because, more than I do. Because what is Hindu bashing in this? Rahul, you know, the, the social media is extremely active. There is a social bombardment. Now, if you see Beshram uh, Rang, the Beshram Rang title itself has a contextual background to any color there, whether it's a green or it's a saffron. Now, being a title also and the background of Deepika Padukone, I'm saying but it's But she's a wearing six or seven different bikinis the in the same... Why, why, once again, once now, again. Somewhere, Mukesh Tyagi, she's they, wearing six or seven different sets of it, clothes in I, the same I song. I agree with you. I agree... I, I agree with you that there is a, but there is a, there is an entire context behind it. What is That's the context? That's why eruption of the, why people don't object to many different, there is a, there is a context of uh, a, a Hindu bashing. In Where the is film. the Hindu bashing, boss? there is boss? a context that, yes. Uh, what Hindu have you seen which a, looks like Hindu bashing? You keep Hindu saying Hindu bashing, bashing Hindu bashing. Films. Where are the, the Hindus being bashed? Rahul, the problem is, we, we don't have a level playing field. We don't have a, we cannot make a film on other religion. Look at the consequences of Nupur Mehta. Sir, but there is a religion in this. Uh, All I see France. is look one at, actor uh, worldwide. being serenaded I mean, by a hero. You know why? Where is so the Hindu bashing in this? What are you seeing which I am not seeing? I, are we seeing the same song? Are you seeing I something am, else which I, I can't see? I am not see? seeing. You, you, because you have, you have titled as a Beshram Rang. What do you mean by Beshram Rang? What is a Beshram in the Rang? I mean, is it not a direct hit upon the uh, color? I mean, what are you not provoking the sentiments of the people knowing the sensitivity of the society is so high right now? Every bowl can be turned into mountain because there is a accumulated Hindu bashing. And why why do you title as a as a, as a Besham Rang? You know, Rahul, in the film industry, nothing is done thoughtlessly. Nothing is, there is a there is a very well perceived ideas when they title any song, they spend crores of rupees in making a song. So why do you call Besham Rang? Sir, I so tell you, you I, I, well, once again, let me let me quote to you, Mukesh Tyagi. Some of the lyrics from the song Nasha Chalha Jo Sharifi ka utar pheka hai Besharam Rang kaha dekha dunya walo ne. Besharam Rang Kaha Dekha Dunya Walone in the way that it's written, in the way that's being interpreted, I'm now beginning to question what kind of a filmmaker are you? Surely there is some creative liberty, some artistic imp uh, artistic freedom that is involved over here. Unless of course there's something wrong in the eyes, sight of you know, the person you know, seeing this. Rahul, even even most Rahul, even Muslim fraternity were also, also objected to it. I mean, you can check your resource, uh, sources. Sir, sab vele there have been a protest by okay, the Muslims because they, there is a green color being shown. Sir, Advaita Kala is having a hearty laugh. I want to go across to Nusrat Jahan. Nusrat Jahan is an actor herself, a member of parliament from the Thirumul Congress, joining us on this broadcast. Uh, we've got the members of the VHP, some members from the BJP, some filmmakers as well, objecting Nusrat. Believe it or not, to the color of Deepika Padukone's bikini. She's wearing six or seven bikinis in that strong. But there's one particular saffron bikini that they seem to be objecting to. They also don't like the title of the song, which is Besharam Rang. What are you making of this controversy and the manner in which Shah Rukh Khan and Amitabh Bachchan have pushed back? Yes, are we ready? Oh, absolutely. We're live on TV. Go for it, Nusrat. So I genuinely believe that uh, uh, colors, nobody really know political parties have patents on colors. So um, today if somebody wearing green and somebody wearing any form of clothes should not be any political party. Nobody should forget about political party but nobody has the rights to arise any question on that. And as far as uh, uh, films are concerned, they're a separate entity and uh, uh, they have their and films are always known for expressing things in their uh, in their view and they've always been larger than life and uh, people have always respected that so why don't you just let films who, which is co directly correlated with the viewers and the best course of decision that uh, uh, can be taken is uh, when you are only allow the uh, viewers to have an opinion about it or not and not anybody else who is in any way politically related or has any opinions as far as what um, the artist should wear and which color they should wear and how they are correlating the color 
to the color of their party and calling it Besharam and um, in return wanting to pull it down. I mean, which country are we living in? The world has evolved. Why is India not being able to revolve? Um, uh, India is not, the mindset is not being able to uh, evolve. And, uh, being, and said, being said that, uh, I also believe that we are living in times where everything is being directed by uh, the central forces, by the BJP parties, where we are being told what to eat, what to wear, what to study in school and what to watch on television. Um, we do not have any personal opinion or personal choices to make. Uh, so I totally condemn this fact and just... No, but we what now seem to have a situation is, where the know, likes of Shri no, Nair and the so others have made up, up their mind that anything which is saffron is BJP, anything which is green is somehow so you, Muslim. No, what is this? The, the, the country right now, what they're doing is they're trying to endorse and propagate the things, or propagate mere speculations, um, which uh, are, which are, they're, they're endorsing, um, they're, they're cr trying to create hatred amongst uh, communities under the pretext of cinema, which is what I'm trying to condemn. Do not get cinema in between. If you're doing something like this, please make it your own personal political agenda. Don't get cinemas in, be in between and let cinemas have their own fate. Let people decide what they want to see and how they want to see their artists and how they want to get entertained. Um, nobody can crop up a question on that. But here, uh, the, in the times that we are living in, um, BJP has a say about everything. The leaders have a say about everything. They want to uh, propagate and endorse and they appreciate uh, religious and spiritual films only and they probably always want to bring down um, uh, pe people and artists, they're banning artists, they're banning uh, stand-up comedians, um, they're trying to uh, create uh, mere speculations and trying to instigate communities based on religion, caste, creed and colour. Um, how long are we going to sustain if we go on this way because you really cannot uh, um, you know, curb people's voices because cinema is a way of expression and you um, as the government you're trying to curb that uh, uh, freedom of expression and this will not go on in the longer run. You know, we've seen the BJP hit out at Mamta Banerjee for this uh, Kolkata Film Festival asking why wasn't Mithun Chakravarti, the son of Bengal, invited? Why are you making Shah Rukh Khan the brand ambassador of Bengal, not Saurav Ganguly, one of the finest cricketers? They're looking to turn this into, instead of being about freedom of speech and expression, they're looking to make this debate political. So why, I, I have a relevant question. Tell me why um, BJP um, or the Gujarat government did not choose anybody from their state as their brand ambassador? That, I think that's a very valid question that I can put forward and I don't really have an answer to it. Why don't you just let people decide who they want as brand ambassadors and why, why is it whole becoming a political agenda anyway? And as far as Mithun Dai is concerned, I personally, he's, a, he's a great actor, I have a personal rapport with him. And um, as far as I know that everybody um, associated with film industry or Bengali film industry has been sent out the invitation, they might not have turned up for their... Um, personal, um, some personal event or some personal um, uh, perspectives. Okay, Nusra Jahan, thank you for joining us. Appreciate your thoughts. I want to go across to Advaita Khala, who was uh, having a laugh when she was hearing Mukesh Tyagi talk about saffron being the color of the BJP and therefore BJP having the right to object. It seems a bit absurd. Well, uh, no yeah, color no. belongs to one party. Secondly, are you seeing anything in that song which looks anti-Hindu to you? Uh, you know, uh, uh, Rahul, uh, I first want to address what the MP from the Thirunmul Congress said. Mm -hmm. I, I think, you know, I largely agree. You cannot co color code people. But also, I think the TMC is the last to speak about color coding and people, the kind of post-poll violence that people who have a saffron view or you have faced in the state has been astronomical and sure. devastating. So I don't think any party can grandstand on this freedom of speech and freedom of conscience uh, position in the way that was
was just being done. So I want to point that out to start with. Secondly, I was amused because, you know, on the other hand, you now had the Ulema Council of, in Madhya Pradesh who is offended by the title Pathan because they said, how can a Pathan uh, be engaging with someone of the opposite sex in this free manner? And, and now, I mean, that's an image worth protecting. Well, on the other hand, people relate Pathans with, the, with Afghanistan and by virtue of that with the Taliban and hence how they treat women. And here you have a very liberal Pathan. So it's all become so identity politics and confusing. And I just, I mean, what image are we trying to protect really? What are we trying to project? What are we trying to save? I don't understand this. There, is, there have been multiple changes in that song, outfit changes of which one is this outfit which is saffron in color now you're going to take a screen grab of that and make it build some narrative out of it I mean the, everybody else on social media should be a scriptwriter why why are we bothering with a professional scriptwriters how can you take a screen grab from a song take it completely out of context and then create this narrative which then whips up of anti-sentiment and frenzy. It's so unhealthy for society for these kind of conversations. And I have a complaint with the media as well. You know, this is social media outrage which is being overplayed. You know what the advertising figures are for Twitter? 1.47% reach is what they claim. Out of a population of 1.4 billion, only 25 million Indians are on Twitter. There are superstars, Shah Rukh Khan, He'll be the first one to admit it, has received enormous love from Indians who stand outside his house and there are lakhs and thousands on any given day waiting to see him. So this is not what India is. And I find it hugely problematic that an overzealous Twitterati pushed forward by politicians, I might add, who have no business commenting on this, are projecting such a regressive and a negative image of India for the rest of the world, while the Prime Minister works 24-7 to have India taken seriously. We are embroiled in these conversations that go global, which are about the color of a bikini in Mukesh a film, in a commercial Bollywood film, She's a proud which has member seen of the right herself, but she seems to suggest a lot of this is loony tunes seeking to want to object for the sake of objection. That scene of the bikini, at least from the trailer that's been released, is hardly a few seconds. There are so many other colors of uh, Deepika's clothes. And you seem to be wanting to turn this into this really huge controversy. It makes absolutely no sense. Advaita says this is an embarrassment for the kind of India that Prime Minister Modi is trying to build. No, Advaita Kaila uh, is, a, is a writer for films and she's also a very active member of the right wing. I have no doubt about that. And she has a right to raise this objection. But the point I'm trying to say, Rahul, is there is no level playing field. When it comes to any other religion, they are absolutely reticent. They have no guts to speak about even a line. Look at that Majid Majidi, the prophet, uh, which, which, Iranian director, who wanted to release the film on prophet messenger of God. He was not allowed to uh, uh, release. Then again, the Da Vinci Code, written by Dan Brown. It was not allowed by Catholic Christians in Kerala. So, you know, when it comes to uh, other religion, they are hypersensitive. Now what is happening is the retaliatory mood of the society that you are, it is not something to do with this color. I agree with you, it's a very small issue. You have no business to comment on, on, on the colors. Color is, doesn't belong to anybody. It's a cinematic liberty to use whatever color they want to use or bikini or no bikinis. Idea is there is a huge background operating against the background of all these kinds of Deepika so Padukhan's uh, silence a in the jail is provoked. Uh, Maua, Maua, various Maua, ingredients Maua, about which you are Maua, upset. Maua, 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 uh, ridiculing Devi Ma, Devi Ma, uh, Maua Moitra, TMC, TMC known for the bloody history. I mean, you know, no. uh, so Akash Di is Sabir. Freedom of expression they're saying they don't like the color silence. of Deepika Padukone's bikini, that somehow this is anti Hindutva, that this film is somehow anti Hindu. I haven't seen any reason to believe that. But they're also saying that if something is said about Islam, then expression. people start objecting and therefore they're objecting to this in the anticipation that there could be something in the film which is anti-Hindu.
Okay. Uh, so why anti Hindu all the time? Why don't if you this have is the guts to write something on on on, on 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 Let him speak. Mukesh, this. Mukesh, it's my turn now, or do you want to continue? Akashdi. Mukesh, we heard you the first time. We are sensible enough. The point is, if you're doing this just because they do it, it's a shame. Secondly, now let's come to the topic per se. Gerua rang, saffron, is what so many sadhus who are languishing in jail today for heinous crimes have worn. Where were your voices at that time? Here it's an ensemble of 35 costumes, so you don't repeat, you use all possible colors. It's a beautiful color. Lastly, our first VS, VA, VHP speaker mentioned that they are going to finish 60 years in existence and you have never uh, banned a film or X or Y or said anything. Great, sir. But did you even have the rights in the first place to do so? Were you authorized by a constitution to do so? That you did not exercise a right? You don't have a right, you didn't have a right and you will not have a right. You have only one right, sir, to not like what you are seeing. But forcing your opinion on people is just not done. Look where the world has gone and look where you want to take us. Every fringe group gets up for a Padmavat, for a Santa Banta, now for Patan, for every film. And what I am hearing in today's debate is from the VHP speaker and from Mukesh, every time Rahul asked you all questions, you all were fumbling with what is your actual grouse. No, they just decided the it seems the gang, Dalit Tahir that they decided that we have to be angry with them. You are just beating around the bush. JNU, we didn't like her but for doing Arawal, that. They themselves are trying to Shah understand Rukh why they are objecting here. Shah Rukh Khan is Muslim. We it's don't like a Muslim superstar. They have decided that they want to object and now is just playing itself out Very and they are trying to grapple and determine what is anti-Hindu and not be able to explain it properly. Dalit Tahir. The, the grapple is... Rahul, the... Rahul, the grapple is so obvious. They have never raised their voice when the sadhus clad in saffron have we been arrested for rape cases and are behind bars. Of what people they were shot. to say about it. I'm the trolling. No, 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 no. no, no, no. okay. You cannot start okay. Let Dalit Tahil speak, please. One second. Mukesh, stick to the topic. Mr. Tahil. Mukesh, your background is related to a different topic, Mukesh. Not to today's topic. You guys are grappling, you are fumbling to, to come to a, a, a valid point to put across to Rahul as to what you are objecting to here. Is it the color? Is it the bikini? Or maybe she just looks really nice and they don't and that's what they are objecting to because they don't look like Deepika Padukone, even Shah Rukh Khan for that matter and maybe they are just all very jealous. Dilip Tahil, where do you come out on this? Well, I mean, uh, good afternoon to you, Rahul. Thank you for remembering that I'm on this program. I really appreciate that. Uh, I actually have forgotten the question. I mean, you know, there's been so much toing and froing about uh, all sorts of things. So can you no, so re-articulate what exactly is, we, your, we, is your question to me? Dilip Tail, we've seen the Madhya Pradesh Home Minister and many other members of what they think is the right coming out and objecting to Pathan, this film trailer that's come out saying Deepika Padukone's bikini needs to be changed, that she's anti-Hindu, the film is anti-Hindu, and they're making a big song and dance about this. How do you think Bollywood and the rest of India should be dealing with these calls? Well, um, to be very honest with you, um, let, me, let me tell you at the outset that everybody constitutionally in this country has a right to protest you have a right to dislike or like and uh, but I think it's very important at this stage where the country is that we respect the uh, freedom of expression we re respect people's views and if you don't like anything and you want to and, and you want to and you want to say you don't like anything that's all very well but to have a collective and to instigate and to create boycotts is just not the way forward. It is not. It is not in any way. Uh, it's supported and should not be supported by the by the constitution because it is. It is not something that is in the hands of people to do this. Whatever your issues are, and they can be anything. I think they should remain personal. The choice should be left with the people. I have always maintained that, and I will always maintain it. There have been times when people have objected to movies from various political beliefs or other beliefs. Fair enough. I say fine. I mean, if you get offended by something, it is your prerogative. 
However, my, 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 my bottom line is that it should be left to the people and it should not be organized boycotts against any particular kind of, uh, kind of objection that you may have personally. Shriraj Nair, I think Dalip Tahil makes an important point. Let people decide. If Dalip or Akash Deep want to go watch the film, let them go out and watch the film. Aapko ghar pe baitna hai, aap ghar pe baitho na. Ab hume kyu ghar pe baitha rahe ho? Fully agree with Mr. Dalip Tahil, but I also agree what they said that right to protest is a fundamental right. People who feel that they are offended or their feelings have been hurt, they have every right to protest. Now, I had Mr. Shahrukh Khan openly supported Mr. Sahib. Uh, Dr. Tanjima Naslin, equally, I would have been very happy. I would have been happy when they would have openly agreed to uh, release Mohammed, the film Mohammed, which was not even allowed to release in India. I would have been equally happy. Yeah. Now, Hindu Sarkar was banned here, and uh, Hindu Sarkar was not allowed to release. No, but none of this has to do with this film. You've just got a litany of past complaints which you are raking up. Mukesh Tyagi, I think Akash Deep Sabir had a very sharp question for you. You are not being able to properly explain what is it that you are objecting to, what is it that you want to boycott, what is it that we are debating. It just seems you don't like how Deepika Padukone or Shah Rukh Khan look, you don't look like Shah Rukh Khan and therefore you are upset with him that he's got this 8-pack, 6-pack app going and you don't. Mukesh, is that what you're really upset about? Because you haven't seen anything which is anti-Hindu. No, no, no. Not, no, not at all, not at all Rahul. Let me, let me just sum up in, because uh, time is limited. Uh, 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 Akash Deep, just let me finish. I mean, you see the point which I am trying to raise is that do we have a level playing field in cinematography? Do we exercise the same freedom in matter of other areas where we are so scared and frightened, we don't even want to talk about it? Now, Basically, these are catalysts. This is not, I mean, a per se, a I do not see very serious objection to this color uh, protest. Mukesh, but what I'm trying to say to is, Rahul, Let him speak. There, there, Let Mukesh there, these, complete, these, these kind of provocations, these, these, these kind of minor provocation, you can very easily, uh, 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 I mean, uh, brush it aside under the carpet, but these are the catalysts. That no, but the what is the provocation, boss? Well, there are ten different around. colors that she is wearing. What is, and how can a color be a provocation? I'm, I'm, Please pinpoint uh, what is the objection. Color, color, color is identified. Color, color, color is certainly a political identification. And there has been a background to, there is a correlation between the color and what? the political ideology. Now, Mukesh, when you say Beshram color, are you, sure you are basically creating a catalyst. But and you are, you are sir, trying to create a controversy. Mein so, I mean, there the are controversy 12 happens, colors over there. Last, they haven't told you which is the... Oh, one second, second, Mukesh Tiyagi. There are, there are at least uh, 12 different colors in that song. They yeah. haven't told you which one they think is the Besharam Rang. It isn't. I just read out the lyrics. But for some reason, you have decided that saffron is the Besharam color. But they haven't said it. How do you know that they're not talking about green or they're blue? They're looking for a reason. Why? So, you problem create karni hai, isliye aap problem create kare ho. Aapko kaise malum ki saffron is the Besharam color? Rahul, Rahul, what I'm no, no, no. Prob, prob, problem creating karni hai. Problem ye hai ki basically please. Indians have been accepting and 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 admiring all the movies, including Hindu bashing. But now the flashpoint is reached to the level no, but where what is the Hindu? Because you are taking it to a point of absurdity. Akash Deep. That's the flashpoint. You are taking it to Mukesh. Yeah. Akash Deep wants to come in. Mukesh, that's the flashpoint. You, 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 you. Yes, Please. yes. Mukesh, that's you the flashpoint. You are not answering my question, you want Akash to take the debate Do we have a level? Yeah, you, answer, too. you answer my, no, you answer Mukesh, my wait, one question, my which you have not wait, answered. Mukesh, wait. I am asking you, Akash Deep, Mukesh, you are a film director. Mukesh, Just a sec. Uh, answer my question. Answer yes. my question. Please answer my question. I am sorry, I am uh, uh, raising this question. Do we Go have on. a level playing field, field in the cinematic... Uh, in, 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 in India, do, can we make the film on other religion with the same authenticity, with I, the same provocation? Can, are we making those films? And if we are not making, are you not having a double standard? Okay. Mukesh, stop. Mukesh, your question can't question. be bigger than my answer. 
Mukesh, your question can't be bigger than my answer. I got your point. Now be silent. Mukesh, what Please. level field are you looking for in Bollywood? Don't sound so naive. Nobody can impose a particular kind of film to be made by a filmmaker. That call comes from within. Mujhe is pe film banani hai. Mujhe us pe film banani hai. There cannot be a level field. You are in the wrong profession if you want a level field here. Secondly, you are diverting sir, these discussions sir, 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 point sir, that does not Juda. exist. When you say, one minute sir, sir one minute Juda. sir, now please be silent. When you said Indians have tolerated these kinds of movies till today, but Pathan won't be tolerated, you are excluding Shah Rukh Khan from being an Indian? He's probably more true Indian than you and me put together. I know it's personally Khan. to say that. I can stick my neck out I for love the, Khan, Khan. the Kapoors and the Kumars. Please no. don't take no. this narrative. You know what is on the back of your mind? Deepika was seen at JNU. Shah Rukh has been labelled as part of the Tukre Tukre gang. So I am not saying that at all. You are you scrambling are not for a reason to ban this film. That's what it appears with Mr. Nair's uh, discussion uh, uh, and your Deep, discussion. You are, uh, Otherwise, Deep, you uh, all Deep, have a right to opinion, but you, you are have not, not backing my it question. with any information. What is Sir Tan Se Juda? What is Sir Tan Se Juda? What is the reason? No, where is anyone saying Sir Tan Se Juda in this film? Are Mukesh Bhai, where is anybody saying Sir Tan Se Juda in this film? Are Rahul Ram, Unka or Gerwa, Aapka Kaise Ho Gaya? Rahul, I am broadening the scope of your question. But we are talking about the time. You can broaden it. In whichever fashion you want, I, mean, I, I don't expect this from you. I think I'm, I'm only broadening. I mean, when when because you're not being able to answer the specific question, you therefore you want to broaden the debate. Because the very simple straight question was, what is it that you no, saw? No, no, Dalit Tahir. I don't think this he question has got answered. We've been debating for 30 minutes now. I don't think it's been explained. What is it that Mukesh Tiagi and Sriram Nair were actually offended by? They haven't, they simply, Dalip Tahil, haven't been able to explain that. We don't know why, we don't know. Let Dalip speak, please. Well, uh, Rahul, Rahul, to be, to, be, to be very honest, I mean, you will have to ask uh, Shirajji and Mukeshji what they're upset about. India is a country of diversity. We have the privilege as a country that no other country has. We have a diversity of religion. We have a diversity of culture. We have a diversity of languages. And we have a diversity of even cuisine. I think we should enjoy that. We should embrace that. And we should be able to encourage free expression and not and not sort of tunnel or channelize everything into any personal kind of objections or any religious ob objections in any way. I don't think the majority of this country Advaita is Kana? supportive of Do you think Shiraj uh, Nair or approach. Mukesh Tyagi could explain and what they that, were objecting about? Why these uh, posters were being burnt and why they were so hassled? I don't think they've been able to explain it to me at least. Well, you know, Rahul, first I have a bone to pick with you because you declared me as a proud member of the right. Now, let me tell you, it's going to restrict even me even more because I'm going to get lesser work. So I, I'm not going to be a hypocrite no, but about not really. That. I have a very oh, strong yes. right-leaning point of view on most, on many issues. But there's a but, difference but, between being on the, the right and being loony. Right? 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 There's a difference between being but crazy Rahul, and Rahul, having Rahul, a nationalistic Rahul, or right-leaning perspective on national security or economic affairs. But Rahul, in the film industry, there is an anti-right bias. There is no denying that. Exactly. I am here because I am here for the issue. And on this issue, I believe that this is not a legitimate concern that is being raised. But is there an anti-right bias? Absolutely. I face it every day yeah. when it comes to getting work. And, and I'm not boasting, but I've won possibly every award for my writing for a film. And it's still hard for me to get work because of my uh, support for Modi and uh, things like that. So there is a bias that exists and I'm going to call it out on both sides whenever I see the hypocrisy because that's just who I am and that's I think the duty of an artist and definitely to stand up for freedom of speech is also the duty of an artist and okay. that's really what I'm doing here. So I, I leave it here. All I wish to say is I don't think Sriraj Nair or Mukesh Tyagi or anybody else have been able to explain what Rahul they've seen Rahul which is Rahul so Rahul. far anti-Hindu because there's nothing anti-Hindu that we've seen. I mean. Deepika Padukone looks quite nice, so does Shah Rukh Khan. Maybe Shiraj Nair doesn't look like Shah Rukh Khan, which is why he's a bit upset. That I can understand being upset about that. But being upset about the film being anti-Hindu, because there's nothing that is anti-Hindu. Sir, his eight-pack abs, your one-pack abs, that's why you're getting upset.
है ऐसा तो नहीं है या दैट कुड बी अभी बींग अपसेट अबाउट दैट आई अंडरस्टैंड कॉमेंट्स Being and upset about that, I understand. He's doing. Not, not in the status of India. So now India. he's a bit embarrassed. These Because guys with these statements really bring the whole Indian no, appeal down. It's an absurd Please situation. Please don't make these we statements. We went through a half-hour debate without the protagonists who are arguing, trying to explain why they're upset. Being able to explain it, they later want to change the topic or broad-based the issue. Those are large issues, and I don't go away from that. Some of those issues are for real. Uh, but Deepika Padukone. wearing one saffron bikini in a song where she's wearing multiple colors of clothes i mean get alive guys let her be let sharuk be you want to watch the film go watch the film you don't want to watch the film stay at home you want to go to a mandir go to a mandir you want to go to a gurdwara go to a gurdwara you want to go to a masjid go to a masjid you want to go watch a film have some fun go have some fun live your life be yourself tell the moral police uncle stay at home i don't need you i don't want you this is a free country we value our freedoms and we will do what we want meri marzi that's where i end have a great weekend i'll see you on the other side <laughs>